Uh, welcome everyone. Today was a session on managing SharePoint framework projects using GitHub and Azure DevOps. So myself, Santokumar, and I am a CSOP Corner MEP and currently working as a senior technical lead in HCL. You can find me in any social handler in the name of KTS Kumar. And first of all, I say thanks to C-Shop Corner for the giving the opportunity to take uh, the session on SharePoint framework projects with uh, GitHub. Okay, and also I'll uh, say thanks to so Santokumar from, he's another Santokumar from, he's a chapter lead of uh, Chennai. Okay, so uh, today's our agenda is first, we are going to see DevOps. What is DevOps? So, um, you'll just um, think about why we are, why we have to uh, just go through the DevOps for the SharePoint framework projects. So this is interrelated. So we are going to see how to manage the SharePoint framework projects. This is a in, uh, continuous inter, uh, by, uh, how to manage the task for each SharePoint, uh, that is SharePoint framework project and how we can manage the issues or features or if we want to add new features to SharePoint framework project, how to create a task and how to link with uh, each SharePoint framework deployment and how we uh, deploy or uh, build and build and uh, deploy the package to SharePoint app catalog in a continuous manner. So this is our agenda. So here we are going to integrate the GitHub and Azure DevOps for building a SharePoint framework project and how we can deploy it. So it's a very seamless manner. There is no manual intervention should have should not happen. So that we are going with uh, these two main uh, tools for our uh, project development. Okay, and last we have a demo and at last we have a Q and A session. So first, um, I think uh, most of you hear the DevOps. Okay, DevOps, DevOps is nothing but it will connect the people, process, and product to enable the continuous delivery or for the delivering any valuable uh, to the customers or valuable to the end users. So it's it's a, uh, it's like it's a continuous it's a continuous process for giving the best qual best and quality product or end value to the customer. So this is. Um, Nothing much. There are a lot of manual intervention happen in previous, uh, uh, that is, uh, previous decade uh, uh, for the building uh, and the packaging and deploying and everything. It will be happening in the manage manual interventions there. So now DevOps is this came and there are a lot of uh, automated tools. It's emerged in the market which will enable the continuous integration or continuous delivery for delivering. It's, it's a, it will enable us to. Um, frequently deliver uh, the best to quality and product so and easily we can manage or easily we can track it where uh, any issues or any block any backlog is happen so that's what here you can see the picture of it says it says the arrow and the uh, that is um, plan and track develop build and test deploy operate monitor and learn so it's a continuous it's it's always continuous if any new feature or any uh, any uh, bug is uh, arised we can use the devops uh, tool to just easily uh, just develop and it will the devops uh, whatever scripts we have uh, configured that will take us about all the things only this thing is develop and then just commit just deploy, uh, move it to uh, any source uh, source control so after that, the devops will take care about all the things okay so this uh, we are going to use the devops as a concept in backend and we are going to use the tools for the uh, configuring this devops structure for SharePoint framework project development one is we are going to use the github uh, tool and another one is azure devops these two are cloud-based uh, uh, framework and this will support or uh, enable us to seamlessly in uh, integrate all uh, develop to deployment and continuous delivery to the customer so here uh, previously we have used a lot of source safe control tortoise or visual source safe control so in recently uh, most of you heard about a github and the github is uh, is work on top of git it is a uh, source control this, this is a distributor source con version control and the github which using this git as a version control for managing each uh, file whatever file you are changing whatever whatever 
any any changes happen in the code or any changes happen in any uh, maybe log message or te test cases so whatever happen the git have the git version control which track and easily you can uh, just that is first of all if you are new to the git it will be very tough uh, it will be very uh, tougher to understand but if you understand the git there is nothing and we can easily uh, use this github okay and that is and for managing the git uh, version control of us managing the all the codes we are using the repository the backend repository for storing all the changes whatever we have done that is what we are going to use a github okay and next one is azure devops azure devops is nothing but same like uh, it's previously we called as Visual studio team services which enables to manage it's also like managing the codes or managing the uh, repository of uh, codes whatever changes happen whatever the, a task you are creating how to how to integrate the task with the code so all the end-to-end -end, uh, the devops process will be available in azure devops so here we are going to use azure devops as a collaborate environment and github as a repository for storing our codes and git will be used as a this version control for storing our code okay then if you are going with co uh, git control you can uh, for call we can clone uh, the entire source code to your local machine and you have here itself you can develop or you are here itself you in your local machine itself you can test in your local machine itself you can develop and build and deploy it uh, from your local environment okay you uh, but and then once everything is fine everything is uh, yeah, all the test cases are success all everything is fine with the code we can move this move our local code to the github that is uh, uh, the cloud as a major version here in a, a git version we can call it as a monster version so once everything is done in a um on your local uh, branch you can move it to the master branch in a github okay so and then once we have moved everything into the github that comes to azure devops which will take care about uh, uh, the next process like continuous delivery and continuous integrity that is uh, whatever if you are um, as example the SharePoint framework project will uh, develop the project and then you will use the gulp server or gulp uh, the package so what was command that command we can run it through Azure DevOps instead of we are doing manually in our local machine so there comes there are three uh, main um, services in Azure DevOps that is Azure Boots, which will be managed by task version that is task so what any feature you are creating or it's like a task handler so you can create any work item in Azure Boots, and we can link with our code once everything is completed in the code and if we uh, ensure that command based on the command the Azure board will be uh, changed the status to in progress or completed we'll see in the demo demo and next one is Azure pipelines which is nothing but it will in, it will run the same uh, continuous code that is uh, it will enable us to automate the scripts for the continuous deployment and uh, thing and the artifacts, whatever the uh, um, the pack, the Azure pipelines which is used to run the code, like Gulp uh, server, or, sorry, Gulp run package solution. So whatever the code which packages, everything will be stored in the Azure artifacts. Maybe we can use this Azure artifacts for the next thing because the whatever uh, package is built and is stored in the Azure artifacts, we can take it and we can use it in our uh, maybe the, during the deployment. Okay, so that's what I said. Uh, so pipelines, which is used, which is enables the continuous integration and deployment. So here we can just um, we can use a multiple task. We can create add multiple task in the con continuous integration to um, that is build a code and deploy the code to Azure or any anywhere any cloud or any or maybe you can also deploy to local uh, and on-premise environment too. Yeah. So next one is the SharePoint framework project. I think um, most of uh, knows uh, this SharePoint framework. It's nothing but it's a modern. It enables a modern develop development to the SharePoint, and it has a lot of uh, web ports. And by using the SharePoint framework project, we can create a web ports and extensions. Okay, and then what are the tools we need for developing this web ports and extensions? Nothing but Node, npm, it's Gulp, Yaman. Maybe you can just check it all. You, you can refer my previous articles. There are a lot of audios, uh, videos on this. How to um, just install the SharePoint framework project. And next one is we are going to store our SharePoint framework project 
in a uh, maybe we can store it in Azure repo. There is a another Azure, Azure repo service from the Azure De DevOps. We can also store our code in Azure DevOps and stop storing in GitHub. But here, most of it's our GitHub is uh, it's also acquired by Microsoft now. So we can also use uh, GitHub and there is an integration um, uh, extension also available to integrate the GitHub with Azure DevOps. So that's what I'm going to show here. And next one is to develop and delivery process as uh, development from end-to-end -end process. This is what we are going to see in the demo. That is, first we are going to create a um, SharePoint project, okay, and then installing the dependencies. And we are testing the SharePoint framework project within the local environment. And in the meanwhile, we'll also create a project in GitHub, and also we'll create our new uh, project in Azure DevOps. So we are going to merge the projects and come up with a single uh, point. That is continuous. Uh, uh, integration delivery. Okay, this commit and update work items, which is from a uh, github Okay, we can easily uh, by using this github We can just commit the code and then uh, move the code to the cloud Next one is bundle the SharePoint framework and package the SharePoint framework Okay, then we are going to deploy to the app catalog and publishing the package to the environment. So everything we are We are going to do in the um, Azure DevOps, GitHub and Azure DevOps. And we also create some of the work items or bugs or features in the Azure boards. And uh, I also going to show you when I commit the code or when I publish the code to the GitHub, it will automatically update the status in the Azure boards. Okay, this is what that we are going to manage the task and uh, how to um, de deploy the code in, in an automated way. Okay, so this is what in a continuous integration in the Azure pipelines. We are going to configure this one in a build It will it will be uh, uh, Compile and package the solution and in the country continuous deployment in the release one We are going to see the that is how to deploy to the yes, SharePoint app catalog and how to publish it okay, by using the office the face CLI Okay, next one is a uh, demo. So totally we are going to see the demo for next one hour Okay, maybe we'll uh, I'll go over the first Maybe if you have any doubts you can raise your hand in the middle and you can say yeah, ask anything Okay, let me go to uh, First um, uh, We are going to create a new SharePoint framework project Okay, a uh, demo SPX okay, and I'm going to create a share um, SPX tab webinar. Okay, and then so we are going to human generator to create a So it's a little wait. Uh, okay, I think I have. So it said I got confused. Um, Oh, sorry. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it's late. It's giving KSP. So um, here we are going to give because here I'm going to show you the demo on uh, how to uh, show that that's uh, total counts of all distant libraries. Okay, so um, maybe okay, maybe we can see GitHub. 
webinar web pod. Let us turn user can folder. No, the pot. Okay, and description and react. So in the meanwhile, we are going to create a project in GitHub and sorry, okay, GitHub and then in Azure DevOps. So in the same name that will easy to understand uh, understand or easy to uh, analyze this so otherwise we'll confuse about uh, the project if we have a different project name we can get confused so that i'm going to create a same uh, name sp github maybe not okay and then public and then just i'm going to create repository and I'll also going to create new project here. Speak tab webinar, and we can also create a public, also private. So I'm going to create as a private here, and then just create. Okay, so it will be creating. So and then okay here uh, to integrate the github and azure devops we have to use the azure pipelines which is available in the marketplace so i'm going to marketplace from a github okay here go search for azure pipeline and then does so you can see it here just click on this and i have already used used this uh, azure pipeline though, so that you are uh, seeing this message i am to use because i am already using this so i just free can plan okay can this app access So I'm going to uh, a lot of service permissions to only this uh, project. So we can also select all projects. But uh, here we are going. I'm going to give the permission to Azure Pipelines to use this GitHub alone instead of giving entire. You can also select all repositories by giving. Uh, this will uh, allow you to you allow you allow your Azure Pipelines to use all GitHubs. So, but I'm going to use this. Uh, I am just giving my Azure pipelines to access this GitHub alone. So I am just click on install it. Um, and this is my uh, Azure DevOps account. it's loading okay i'm going to give this is under kitty smart github and my project is sp github webinar and then i'm just can click on continue okay this is done and i am in azure devops now so and just click on this and then can you edit here and then just ensure the connection I am currently in Azure DevOps so from here I am going to uh, create a connection between uh, a connection to github account so connect to a github account it's switching connection list from here going to select our sp github this one and then save so now we have kind of created a connector connection between github we all we have to first uh, um allow the azure pipelines from the github and then from the azure devops we have to create a connection to github connection github okay we have connector now so I'm going to board and this is Azure board. 
I am going to create one new work item. Just maybe task. And then create SharePoint framework project to show status of um, the artifacts. Okay. Um, you can also just copy and, and then save it. You can here see the name as the count ID is eight. Okay. And then I'm going to a pause. Yeah. Now it is created. Um, I'm to just use code open the our SAP and framework project in a Visual Studio code. Okay, so yeah, we have created now just I'm using Gulp serve for ensure uh, this project is working without uh, any problem. So it's running the back end. Yep. That's yeah, compared. Yeah, it's loading, loading. So if you have any doubts, uh, doubts in the meanwhile, just you can rise. Okay, I'm just. Yeah, we have just successfully created a basic SharePoint framework web part. Okay, and then let me okay, let me stop it. Okay, so now we have created a project and for now we are just going to move our code uh, to the GitHub. So currently GitHub is a empty project. You can see this is an empty project now. So we are going to use these commands to move our code to the GitHub. Okay. So let me open this code. The meanwhile, I'll, I'll just delete this because currently we have some problem with package log .json. Okay, just move. Okay. Here I'm going to use this. First, we have to ensure yeah, initialize the git to this uh, project folder. Then we have to use git dot add, adding every um, project and folder to the git, and then git commit. Maybe I'm going to use initial commit fixes. A B hash eight. You note this. I am going. To, I am using this A B hash eight. Eight is the uh, the work item ID number. So this is A B, which is of course mentions the Azure board. So Azure board has eight. And then previous before I have to use fixes. So this will ensure the particular task uh, work work item in the uh, Azure DevOps will ensure to uh, the change the status to closed. Currently it is in the new state currently it is in a new state. So once I fix uh, once this commit is confirmed in the GitHub, so it automatically changed to new to this closed state. I'm just and then yes, and then you have to use. Uh, so far we have used here, and then I'm going to copy this one. Okay, then this. So before uh, running this command, git command, you have to install a git command here, and then you can configure the authentication between git. Uh, 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 configure the, um, the you have to authenticate uh, this GitHub with uh, your credentials.
okay and this is done let me check yeah it's in the master branch and here you can see it's it's in a and the status bar you can see git isp github webinar git and this is in checkout so i'm going to just refresh this one you can see it's committed and all the code is available here okay let me go to this also devops and then i'm refreshing this you can see now we have committed and you can see the status has closed yep that's it and okay now i'm going to create another new task new maybe a feature external library library count as uh, status okay and i am saving this this is nine now okay okay uh just just have created now we are going to create for, uh, we have to enable the continuous integration by creating power pipelines in the azure pipeline services okay so in the builds we are going to first as i shown in here you can see we are going to create this task from the build okay i'm just in just new pipeline from the pipelines click on the build and then you will see here and use the visual designer and then github github connection okay this is authorized and then i'm going to the select the repository yes this one as a repository click on select and master branch okay i have selected a master branch currently we are in only we have a master branch so i'm selected this master branch here so whatever master whatever committed to this we have created a pull request or committed to this master branch it will it will trigger this build task and the continuous task is added in this also pipeline it will uh, run just continue and then click on the empty job okay and then Click on this one, maybe. What name we have can we can give any name? Maybe I'm just giving continuous integration here. And then adding a new task first node and then add use this uh, 8.6 because the sapphire framework we are using which required the minimum node version is 8.x so i'm selecting this 8.x as a node version and then we are going to install a npm just add npm install yep Next one is we are going to run the gulp task like I think whoever created a SharePoint framework project uh, knows what is a gulp task. This gulp, uh, we are going to use two gulp tasks. One is for bundling. This bundling, uh, this will uh, bundle all the SharePoint framework when and um, that is compiled and bundled into a single folder. And then next we are going to use another gulp task for package that will package and everything and package everything and give it in a, a SharePoint framework package extension. I'm going to use this bundle SPFX. Going to use bundle, gulp bundle, this is shape. So maybe I'll show you how to this. 
so that is gulp ship this is this iphone and iphone ship which refers to production thing so it will minimize uh, this will minimize all the cs and js files whatever they are in the uh, sharepoint framework project folder okay and this will we'll see uh, after this so come on come on so i'll open the sharepoint frame uh, sharepoint site also now so that is my sharepoint site is Okay, I'm just next one is um, after this gulp this gulp package solution I from ship So here during this time you can see uh, There is a new SharePoint folder will be created here and you can see our what our package is done is it will be stored in that particular SharePoint folder so, Yeah, you can see this I'm just opening this one you can see solution see this is a package for this is a package of sapon framework the part so this will now and then i am so we have to once this i'm just showing the manual steps now so after that i'll show you how to automate this one so uh, catalog apps for a point here then we have to upload our package to this library once upload we have to use the deploy option is there so once the there we have to use the deploy here so that's what we are going to automate now okay i'm just okay this is what i'm going to do it in the azure pipeline this is done and then i'm going to have another group task just gulp and then spfx package solution chip and then adding another task for copying this uh, package to the azure artifacts copy files using this then here have to copy files to our artifacts folder that is stars dot spp kg this is spp uh, version and then i'm going to use one second have some notes let me take it uh, this one it's a target folder artifacts folder of this so we are going to store our sapoint framework package version to this particular folder this is a artifacts slash drop folder okay and then we have to publish it once we are copying and then publish it in that particular folder so publish artifact probably spilled artifacts just select this and then just leave it as it is okay and then to save okay and then we have to enable a trigger here 
so from the pull request this is enable continuous integration and then whatever uh, pull request is happen this will start shape Okay, and then now next we are going to now we have uh, have the package now we have to deploy it to SharePoint app catalog and publish it on the SharePoint site. So next I'm going to just create a new pipeline. Just under the pipelines you have to click on releases and then pipeline. Uh, here before that you have to just select the artifact. Artifact will be build one and source will be this one. So we have to note this down name. Okay. So we need that later. Just this one and then add a stage. And we all maybe just empty job. Stage will be uh, Maybe this will be a fraud stage. Okay, and then we have to add our task. So here just select continuous deployment. And then just add our task which I've shown it in here. First, we have to run the Node.js and the npm install Office Explorer, and adding to connect to SAPN app catalog and solution adding solution to the app catalog. Then we have deployed deploy that package. That's what we are going to do. First, we have to run npm install. Let's add this npm install Office 365. CLI and then just select the custom command and select just go to this one this will be installing uh, office x CLI npm package sorry this is not here you have to add it here Next one, just select enter and then you have to just oh, see before that we have to run this Node.js. I forgot that, so just add Node.js. This one eight point tax. Okay, next command script. We have to kind of, we have to first move back to our particular folder here. Okay, so that's what I have it here. This command, the script. This pipeline artifact is a local variable. We are, it will be created in under the variables tab. So we'll later create it. And then next one is we are going to run the same command line script. And then this will connect SP app catalog. So once this is done, just I'm just going to well, this please.
just copy and paste this order local with tenant username password catalog site all all yeah local variables will be create later next one is command next command line script once that is done we have to add a sp package to the app catalog okay that is add spf catalog i have already have a command so this is So this is office 65 uh, CLI command. Okay, so this is what I'm going I'm using here uh, and this will represent the that artifact folder where we have uh, 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 That is published uh, uh, the package artifact package uh, framework package File which are stored in uh, the particular Azure's artifacts folder This will this variable which is represent that folder Okay, this is what here and then adding one more command to deploy deploy spfx package so let me have that command too so just 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 Uh, done. Okay, we have created this and then we are going to create a variables here. Okay, first Let's create catalog site Site slash app catalog This will represent the app catalog site to model next one is package name Package name we have it here this one okay and then next one is password maybe first we'll have a username username as my name my ID and then password to avoid showing our password just use this this will mask our password typings and then add tenant and then we have lost pipeline artifact one Okay, this what artifact. This is what we have copied earlier. Okay, and then save. Okay, we have created a, a pipeline a task. So whenever we publishing our GitHub a code in the GitHub, this will automatically deploy. So maybe we can test it. So I'm going to just so see and index maybe okay in this TSX let me Uh, point okay um, just change it and just okay um, just text changed and then moving to staging 
these are different levels once we have to move whatever changes we have done we have to move our, our code changes to stage and then that will code change will move commit our code to the github and then we have to publish first okay just push this is all the feature available in the visual studio code itself so currently this is in moving our code to the cloud environment and whatever is any progress this particular the, as uh, 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 icon will uh, rotate so we'll see our code is there is there available in the github okay so just can see soc and then you can see the github that change text changed we have added that and then components Yeah, our code is available now in the github. So also we'll see our pipelines is run or not Okay, I think it's not run. Okay, it's it's running. You can see there's a build task is created. Let me So initializing agent to check out and Currently installing the npm packages now so it's running the npm install task so once this is completed we have other line of task so once this completed this next one is this will trigger the pipeline task in the also releases this will be triggered afterwards okay so this is what we are doing it now so we'll check the status <coughs> Okay, in the meanwhile, we'll change our code to um, as per uh, this look and feel. Okay, in the meanwhile. So for that, I'm just, I'll be using one set of, uh, going to yes, this. This under the reports and then this here are components. We have components. I'm going to create some other folders like common folders and then data providers folder to top. And in that common create new file called i objects dot yes okay as well as the data providers i have created i have written an article in a csop corner in the name of amazing um uh, amazing way to create a sharepoint framework report with react so there i'll i have given a lot of uh, the the step by steps to use the react as a backend to create a sapphire framework report it will show you the like in easy manner so the, the same process i am using here to create it so i yes and then called mockup for the, having the mockup data and then you create a sapphire Yes. The components we have three file and one is for properties and one for the part. I'm going to create one for managing the state. SP GitHub RTS. Okay. Mm, what is now? So we'll see how the process is gone. Yeah, so everything is succeed here in the deployment. So in uh, the packaging, compiling and packaging. Let me show release. So what happened is not. Okay. 
what happened uh, schedule not set Oh, okay, we here we have to select the latest one and then analysis this Red pipeline, okay save Okay, we have to run this Okay, sorry, um, <laughs> this. Okay, let me go to the edit. I think we have to this, this one after the release and this one. Yeah, here we have to enable the trigger. Uh, continuous deployment trigger, the branch filters, create release every time a new build is available. Okay, so whenever a new build is available, this will run. So we have forgot to create it. So let me maybe we can change one more thing. Uh, integrate. So just I think we'll second commit maybe stage it. Stage it. Then commit it. And then if you click on this one, this will push our code to the GitHub. So you can see here the rotate icon. Okay. So okay. Now we'll see it's the code is moved, and we'll check how uh, yeah the second one is running now building. Okay. So the so meanwhile we'll. Add our change our code first in the iobjects.ts. Let me have my code from previous one. We just so we are going to have title, ID, hidden property of list, and uh, base type and base template property of the list. So I'm just using that and then going to I data provider just this is a get all list we are going to call to retrieve all the list and libraries from the SharePoint site and then the next one is our data provider this is nothing but it's a temporary we purpose this for local testing Maybe at the SharePoint data provider as a main one. So here you can see I have used the iWebPod contacts and uh, this contact WebPod contacts SPD, SPS TTP client to retrieve the list information. And then once it's retrieved, I'm storing it in an array and sending as a I list collection of I list property. And then going to properties, let me check. Properties, I'm only having the provider. Okay, this is done. And then the state.
state is done. Let me see our okay, uh, still running. Let me refresh this page. Still running. Yeah, it's bundling now. Packaging. Okay, that will run in the back end. So let me. So we are going to use. Okay, let me close everything here from here. Close all. Okay, going to this. So it's uh, due to a time constraint. I'm just copying and pasting. Just okay. So here the environment and the environment type is required. That is available from here. Environment type. Then mockup data provider we required it from import mockup data provider from data provider slash mockup data provider and then data provider slash open data provider this okay we also need okay uh, okay let me check our uh, the build process done and going to release Yeah, I think there's some problem in deployment. So adding SPFX catalog is from problem here. Let me see it. Oh my God. So that is solution GitHub report package not found. Once again, let me check it. What happened here? Okay, go just so what happened? What happened? Okay, release and then just edit. Then this one coming to this place pipeline artifact and what have you given the pipeline artifact is CSP GitHub webinar CI copy and going to build and the same name right same name SP GitHub webinar iPhone CI <clears throat> I think everything is correct so Yeah. Excuse me, something. Yes. Uh, actually, in extension, there, in file path, there will be two extensions. Yeah. See? Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for noting down. Um. Maybe just edit it. Mm. 
variables yeah i think here we have specified in both places okay and then i'm saving thank you thank you for note it down and it's going to this place and then this okay. okay we'll complete everything here and then we'll publish it okay so what happened i'm in Here we have to use this one. Uh, yes, we get a baby now. Then this, this, this. You have to import a uh, data provider. Data provider from data provider. Okay, yeah. This everything is completed from this end. <coughs> Okay, we'll move. This constructor we need. Um, just copy this, please. SP GitHub webinar props and then here we have to specify our I state. Oh, what happened? Okay, and then we have to work on that uh, component and then rendering. You know, plus we have to import this process indicator. This is another one react component from the office UA fabric. I'm using this. Okay, maybe now we'll run it. Uh, Gulp serve first we'll check. Is everything is running fine. Compiled. I think we have almost done. I think everything is success. Maybe oof failed. What happened? Name I list from SPGitHub webinar.tsx. 
as TSX21. Okay, I think we have to import that uh, highest one. Next, we'll run once again. It's running, running, running. Okay. Yeah, it's succeed. So let me check our code from our environment, maybe from this. Layouts on workbench. Yeah, it's coming fine. So we'll now deploy it. Okay, maybe let me go to here and then from maybe um, uh, added ISP code to fair to sh show the status and our fixes AB has nine. Nine is a work item of our Azure board feature. So I'm using this. So I'm just staging it and then commit it. Then pushing to the GitHub. <clears throat> yeah, now it's pushed. Going to build. It's running. Okay, we'll see. So what happened? What is happening now? So, so uh, do you have any queries so far? Maybe it will take some at least two or three minutes. So in the meanwhile, if you ask any questions, I can help you. Santa, Santa. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I have one query. So every time when you build it, so every time then npm install is uh, here running means yeah. adding the new package yes in the npm in the pipeline we are running that because uh, we can't store that too much uh, um, uh, information too much files in the github because if you have too much because if you take the package and you can see more maybe 200 mb like that so you can't uh, have that the npm all npm uh, node modules package in the github so when we are trying to run our uh, SharePoint framework project in the Azure pipeline, it doesn't have the node modules during that time. So that we have to run whenever we are building or whenever we are using Azure pipeline, we, uh, we I think we should run this NPM install. Okay, but if every time is run, then already existing um, package, right? It's also run or it's keep no. the existing module because in the github you can see that is a you can't see this node modules folder Maybe I'm going going to this because by default it ignores uh, To store that node modules uh, folder here. So this okay, is the entire okay. structure and our uh, one is this You can see this node modules or disk or library this uh, these folders will not be stored in the github Maybe you can uh, modify this uh, package uh, file or uh, pocket file to that is git ignore file. You can modify this file to store the node modules or any package because this will be ignored by default. Because it depends directly, mm -hmm. directly this will be ignored. So maybe whatever folder here they have mentioned will be ignored uh, on more uh, moving our code or files to the uh, cloud. Okay. okay. Every time it will be ignored okay. so that we have to run that npm install in our Azure pipeline. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for the because it's uh, maybe uh, most of because during my initial time also I uh, I am also got the same uh, one. Can we create a trial mm -hmm. account? Yes, we can have. We can create a trial account. Uh, maybe if you go to Azure DevOps. You can search as Azure DevOps. 
and here you can see azure.microsoft.com here you can have sign in to azure devops here you can use it's a, you can show the maybe unlimited repositories uh, unlimited projects in this azure devops but each will be limited to you only you can add uh, for each project you can you should you can able to add at least one, i think one with only five members you can't add more more than five members to each project so you can create a trial uh, from here bundle itself having some problem what happened Just here, missing semicolon. Okay, what happened? Bundle, maybe. What am I called? Bundle hyphen shape. Let me check in a local. It will, it will. So, any other queries? Um, Okay. Yeah, can we also use? Yeah, we can also use Webpack bundle. We if we have to uh, add a web Webpack uh, say npm install here, then only we can use it here. Okay. Uh, so what happened? The build failed to load your task. Okay, there is some problem in. A build file ta task output to str error. Okay, what happened? So, do you see any issues in the code? Maybe. Thing is everything is coming perfect I wait uh, okay let me show Mm. So it's it's having some problem with the bundling the package. So actually, what will happen is uh, it will uh, bundle everything here, and then uh, it will uh, once it succeed the release package. This process will be start, and once it succeed, it gets added our project as a point package to the app catalog. That's what hap This will be happened. So here. Um, Build file because a task wrote output to str exiting with code one. So okay. So missing semicolon. This is the this is all a warning. So that won't be a problem there. Uh, okay, maybe I'll show some other project my another project status. So maybe I'll go to this one Maybe Pipelines builds once it's succeed you can see once everything is succeed This will trigger the pipelines from here and then once you can see everything it will be package deployed into a package we can see what's the package name chennai connect 03 web part so uh, maybe i'm going to show you that it's automatically triggered and stored it in 
you can see it's automatically deployed here that's what happened previously uh, i don't know so what's the problem now and there is another webinar is going to start in another five minutes so i have to rush it and close it so this will be happen so sorry for uh, not uh, that uh, production bill will not happening maybe i'll i'll uh, maybe i'll upload this uh, video in the youtube uh, okay and after the successful uh, package is built i'll upload uh, my video to the youtube you can check it here there okay so that's all thanks for watching uh, my um, okay um, thanks for watching um, my session and i'll come up with that uh, another latest one and uh, by soon okay so you can search or you can get me on any uh, um, social media in the name of kts kumar thank you thank you everyone so maybe you can uh, ask if you want to ask any questions you can just ping me in any social media in the name of kts kumar okay thank you thank you everyone